very long time ago. But there is a difference. If we want this country to be great again, we've got to start fighting wars we can win and stop fighting against crazy folk who ain't gonna give up. Which is why I want us to think about invading Europe again. Seriously. How do you mean? Now, I ain't never been one for book learning. too different. They eat food that's a bunch of damn paste. So what I'm going to propose as governor of this state is that we plan a massive invasion force and go ahead and invade France. Because if there's one country we can beat in a goddamn arm wrestle, it's them limp-wristed patronizing cheese monkeys. And I promise you this, I promise you, if Great Britain wants to stand in our way, I'll tell you what, we'll invade them too. Make them start speaking English and everything. I've seen a lot of movies, and, and how often, how often is the world threatened by a creepy British guy? It's never an American, not never. So I'm saying, if we're serious about fighting terror, and I know we are, we go straight to the source and invade Great Britain. Finish off the whole back in 1770, whatever it was. That's how we can win this war, Bobby June. That's how we can avenge them American lives, by killing every goddamn one of them bastards. Pardon my French, because that's what love is all about. You're going no job, bless your heart! How about for you? Get the fuck out of here! Bobby June, let's talk about this election. It's really up to everybody to get out there and make a difference. You gotta do everything in your power to make sure we win. This is not a socialist country. It's not. This is America. We're nationalists. National socialists, if you will. Because our society is our nation. But trust me, this is the most important moment in American history. If we get this wrong, well, we're shit out of luck. Mark my French. How so? Who's that? Not Mr. Ricky. Speaking of a turn again. Don't worry. She's just got a tank. Oh! Oh! in the capital. I'm against cronyism, which is why I'm supported by only big... Someone beating and sodomizing them with a nightclub. Well, watching you chase minorities with a police helicopter is a great night of family TVs, what it is. You're speaking lots of sense, Chalk, but all this politics has got me hungry. I reckon we should make some dessert together, what you think? Well, I just love that. All right, let's see what do we need. Sugar, frosting, a few egg yolks, ice cream, a bit more ice cream, peanut butter, graham crackers, red hot, non dairy topping, sprinkles, peach schnapps, Coupon and we need simple recipes and this one is real simple. Ain't that right girls? 
I call it sweet and sticky stock car shrapnel surprise. Because it's like a fiery accident of flavor in your mouth. I love stock car racing. Finally, a sport that people like us can excel in and don't have some kid from the project showing off. Try a spoonful, honey. It's delicious. Oh, that could scare a gay man straight. It's fantastic. I know. And it's healthy, too. Makes you smile. All right, Ricky, honey, come here. Have a taste. I know it's your favorite. Oh, oh, I can't, Bobby Jew. I'm watching my figure. Excuse me. Excuse me. Listen, I got the so-called diabetes. Them doctors said my arteries was like cement. I've had three strokes, and I am fine. Because I don't worry. It's the worry that'll kill you. Come on. Come on, girl. Now, come. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, see? That ain't so bad, is it? Thanks for coming on the show, John, and we'll all vote for you in the election. Bless your heart, Bobby June. Bless your heart, Jock Cranley. Oh, you don't. Okay, our next guest is super exciting because she's a superstar. You've no doubt heard her songs. She's here to talk to us about adopting children from foreign countries and to sing her new song. Please welcome pop legend turned country western crooner, Samantha Muldoon. Girl, get in this kitchen off this minute. Thank you, thank you all. You are so great. Thank you. Oh, you look fantastic, Bobby June. You like my new accent? Bless your heart, Samantha. I was wondering what that was. Well, my goodness, you look incredible in that dress. It's some kind of designer dress. Yes, it is. Thank you. Now, you've been on a mission, a crusade, really, to help children. It's incredible how many kids you've adopted from Africa. You are such a beautiful person. Well, these children are born in places that are so poverty-stricken, it's sad. We bring them to America so they can have a chance at a better life. Do any of them steal? What do you mean? You know, just wondering, that's all. You can take the gator out of the swamp, but don't be surprised if it bites you through the coffee table, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Speaking of, I think we should cook some up. Ooh, 